Hi there, everybody, and welcome to another segment of Global Radio and TV. I'm Eva, and we will be discussing some exciting, fun things to do in South Florida. I'm going to be showcasing some interesting neighborhoods here, our main principal neighborhoods, as well as some emerging neighborhoods, which you all may not be as familiar with. So I'm going to start out with downtown, since downtown is the epicenter of most of all of these cities in the U.S., and in downtown, we've got the Adrian Arsh Center. It's actually part of the quote-unquote arts and entertainment district, which has been developing a lot lately, uh, the last few years, and it's actually African American Month. Someone, uh, we're celebrating that, someone had invited me to see Motown or Diana Ross, so there's a slew of interesting events going on all over, um, and as well, so you can always check out their website, it is the arshtcenter.com and there's international shows that come here all the time and it's a fascinating uh, structure. If you're here in Miami, right off of 395, you'll see it on the north side of the road. And as well, Pam is here, which is the Perez Art Museum. So let me show you that website because they have some interesting events as well for uh, the celebration of this African American month. So uh, it's actually also off of 395 and that is actually on the south side of the road, right where all of the cruise ships pass. So if you look on their events calendar, this was one of the receptions that I was going to mention. A third year of the PAM Fund for African American Art. Enjoy a performance of Ground presented by Neri Ward with local dancers and a musical performance by Girls Power, Girl Powers Girls Choir of Miami and a dinner reception with a musical performance by Ketchi Shubby. So um, it's obviously something very important in our community. We're very multicultural here in Miami with many different countries represented, many different races. Uh, yesterday I was just helping out at this large scale um, Chinese New Year festival, 10,000 people as well. So uh, the PAM is PAM.org. That is the website. And I'm going to showcase one pre-construction project that's interesting in downtown Miami. It's called the Paramount Miami World Center. And they actually have a, a large array of different uh, structures tied into it and it's very close to both of these museums. If you see this is the museum park area and these are some of the renderings that you'll see here and um, there's a lot of interesting design going into it as well as interesting retail elements. Now all of this has been fluid and changing. I just saw some new announcements so I'll be inviting someone to speak about that soon. But feel free to come check out any of these pre-construction offices. Find us here in Miami with many many things on the bay to do. Uh, and the next neighborhood I'm going to be jumping into, actually there's one more pre-construction project I would like to highlight and that is called Adia on the Bay and that is quite beautiful as well. Um, that's in an area that borders, that borders downtown in this arts and entertainment district as well as Edgewater. So they're both grouped in this sort of Biscayne corridor. And let me show you some of the images from that. That's from Mellow Group. Those are the developers. And that will be on the water and quite spectacular. You'll see uh, some of these pictures here. Let's sh show some of the images from the gallery um, or the floor plans. We're scrolling through. Um, a lot of the very famous architects uh, such as Architectonica and uh, people like Chad Oppenheimer are involved in a lot of these new buildings that are actually coming up. So I'll be showcasing the next neighborhood, which will be Miami Beach. So everybody loves Miami Beach. What can we do in Miami Beach? So aside from going to Lincoln Road and enjoying the fun in the sun uh, and obviously seeing the New World Symphony structure there for cultural performances, it would be a great idea if you checked out the Standard. The Standard is a beautiful hotel right there next to Venetian Isles, and there are many beautiful houses and condos in that neighborhood, which is kind of part of Miami Beach. If you haven't been here, anytime you drive over this bridge, it's just aquamarine water looking all around. I actually sold some real estate just there last year, and every time we went, it was always just beautiful blues. And this is the images from the Standard Hotel. 
and it's very famous for its spa, just internationally uh, well known and people always go there. It's right on the bay, so it's called the Standard Hotel and just pulling it up here right now. So here is standardhotels.com, Miami Beach, and let's see the pictures to sort of curate it through. Look at the stunning architecture. They always have great events and all sorts of all sorts of uh, large-scale events always do little events there, I've found. They've got a beautiful bar in the back, the Lido restaurant and grill. Uh, they've got the Juice Cafe and Terrace. And on the inside, sometimes they've done uh, bingo or different activities on the inside part of the hotel. The lobby lounge is quite spectacular. It's an oasis of calm, as they call it. Uh, it's just a little bit of a hidden place, but people seem to always know about it. So. So another spa that I would recommend there in Miami Beach is actually on the bay. So right when you're coming across 395, if you go a little bit to the north, you're gonna see a building called the, uh, there's actually two buildings. There's the Flamingo, um, there's the Floridian, we've got the Mondrian Hotel as well as the Mirador. There's a, a bunch of buildings on sort of West Avenue there. And inside the Flamingo, which has rentals as well as for you to buy. It's a beautiful area and the bay is right there. You can find this gorgeous garden, spa, and beauty. And they had a beautiful event a little while back and you can look at their website which is thegardenspamiami.com and they they actually stopped by. Look how beautiful their brochures were. They brought a few samples for me. Uh, they actually carry Clarins, um, which in France is very well known. So they brought um, some things from Redken as well. But they have some very interesting procedures or things that you can do, um, such as this, let's see if I'm saying it correctly, balneotherapy jets. So they, they use color and different jets and uh, they really have a wealth of experience in this in this industry. So Redken's another one. Now it's not easy to become someone that ends up being able to supply a Redken or a Clarins. So they were explaining some little tidbits about some of their products. So I definitely suggest that the Garden Spa Miami Com. So check out their menu. Gulfing is something else I'd like to mention. And two other neighborhoods I'm showcasing are Doral and Weston. Doral is on the west side of Miami, close to the 826 and the Turnpike. And Weston is a little bit further north in Broward County. Now, both of these areas are getting developed very much. And they're very close to Miami or in Miami, so it's important to know what they are. Uh, let me just show you downtown Doral. I was visiting earlier and could Dina Group actually has been doing all of these incredible buildings. Um, I think they're, they're about to have 10. They're on their second one. They're about to launch their third one. Uh, they've done many projects in the past here in South Florida. So downtown Durrell, check it out. There'll be many new shops and stores. And in Weston, we've got um, the Bonaventure Golf Club. Um, in Durrell, we have the Trump the Trump Gulf course, which is part of the, the hotel there as well. So these are very wonderful things to do. The Botanico project is a Terra group project and you'll notice the beautiful contemporary styles of houses. Uh, they start for a little more than a million and the famous architects such as Chad Oppenheimer work with the owners to actually develop these houses to be a little more customized. So uh, this is the last plot of land to build in Weston. So so it's a, a great opportunity for those of you who may be wanting to be a drop further from Miami. So uh, I also wanted to mention Turnberry. Turnberry Ocean Club is there in Aventura. And let me show you their website because um, that's also something uh, very uh, popular to do in Aventura and Sunny Isles. So I'll show you some of the beautiful pictures here. That's Jeff Sofer and uh, these are some of the floor plans. They're going to have a sky club. Um, the vision is pretty large but golfing is certainly a large part of life in Aventura because we've got that large circle uh, country club drive. So if you visit the Aventura area or go to the Aventura Mall you'll see the beautiful golf course nestled in between the ocean and the intercoastal right around there. So it's a great thing. Let's play the little video for the Turnberry Ocean Club. Let's see here. Hmm.
modern and timeless. I figured I'd just give you all some of the views of the beautiful building. They've done a lot of buildings in um, in Vegas as well as uh, close to the Washington DC area as well as here of course. So it's the same developers and owners of the mall. Uh, and the last neighborhood I'll be showcasing is the uh, Wynwood and Midtown area and Wynwood and Midtown is great because as we all know in Wynwood there's plenty of art to see so that's what I would recommend doing in Wynwood and very close to Wynwood we have an area called Midtown so here is the beautiful pictures of Wynwood there's the Wynwood walls the Wynwood cafe we've got Hugo Fresh which is very close to there let me show you some of the images of Hugo Fresh because it's good for you all to be healthy and drink healthy juices they were so kind and knowledgeable there that I have to say they have many different types of juices and interesting ingredients and for different purposes some are longevity some are anti-aging and you know they've opened a few within the whole foods as well so that's right there in midtown look how colorful and interesting so winwood they're doing a lot of a building but very like i said very close to winwood is an area called midtown now midtown has a grouping of many yummy restaurants that are well known and the the restaurants such as uh, Salumeria, which is part of the Graspa group, or Apeiro, uh, which Larry Brussman and his group handle, um, places like Sugarcane, these are just staples in Miami. Everybody knows of Sugarcane because they know of Sushi Samba on Lincoln Road, and they're constantly opening. Um, the Bocce restaurant, which is right next door to that as well, is also run by the same group, same hospitality group. So um, here's uh, Midtown Miami, and uh, there's many choices of buildings there. There's Midtown 2, Midtown 4, Midblock, and um, the developers had finished a lot of these in 2009 or so, just a little bit after the, the last real estate uh, dip. But um, you'll see there's many uh, beautiful renovations that have been happening. Um, Hyde Midtown is the newer project that's getting built. And let me show you Hyde Midtown. Um, images. It's actually been mingled in here. So Hyde Midtown has been sort of getting sold pre-construction and Fortune is representing them. Uh, Deezer and the related group are working together with that. So there's many wonderful choices. That's a great community for dog, uh, dog lovers. They even have a dog cafe there and such. So feel free to visit us here in Miami. Many, many things to do and we're excited to have you soon.